Individuals of populations, such as the finches given here, can vary. A natural selection can act on these variations, increasing the frequency of variations which will allow an individual to better find food, better defend a territory, or find a mate, while decreasing the frequency of those which are less adaptive. Since Darwin's finches are commonly used as examples of natural selection, these animations depict stabilizing directional and disruptive selection acting on finches. Imagine a scenario where finch beak depth, how thick the beak is, can vary. And this affects how well they can feed on various seeds with thicker beaks being more adaptive for the thicker seeds which uh, typically occur in drier environments and birds with thin beaks being more efficient at feeding on the softer seeds more typical in wet environments. In this first example of stabilizing selection, the beak depth will stay constant as long as the environmental conditions do not change. The population is maximally adapted uh, to uh, efficiently make use of the seeds found in this environment and thus the ones with the average beak depth are those which are best able to make use of these food sources. Thus in stabilizing selection the population average will tend to stay constant over time.